these time zones is different. I don't know where y'all located at, but I'm feeling truly blessed. It's Thursday. This time is going by so fast. Tomorrow is Friday, which is the 12th, I believe. How y'all day going so far? How's the weather? And what time of the day is it that y'all listening to this Positive Thursday podcast? I hope y'all having a super blessed day. So what I was saying today, I want the topic I want to talk about today is, you know, where do we go next from after protesting because this thing about all the other cases of police brutality when unarmed black men and women was killed and when people was protesting which is great because that's when i was watching the protesting and everything like that i seen like other races participate in which i thought it was a beautiful thing and i just pray that this continues to go on even after everything died down and how can we continue to keep the momentum going the first thing um, we need to do is, especially here in the African American community, black or black crime has been going on for so long. Hate against one another. And for us African Americans, for y'all tuning in today, um, for African American people that's tuning in today, listening to this Positive Thursday topic, this is something that we have to really get together. And I believe that is a community thing. Like, we have to work together as a team. If we keep hating on each other, putting each other down, and just killing each other, it's like, there's no reason. I never seen really that. How many other ethnic background groups you see killing each other you hear on the news right or that you hear a lot you don't hear too much about other backgrounds killing each other but it's us and i'm talking about this because it's been going on for a long time i know that as many of you don't get tired the same thing and so am i so this is how we can just we can at least i know things might not change overnight but if each one of us take a step and doing our part in our own community working together as a team i believe that we can create the changes that we want the first thing we can do is just have a town hall meeting every month at least like once a once or twice a month getting together trying to figure out what can we do to stop black on black crime like have like community activities and especially like for these young um kids there's so many kids dying at a, a alarming rate i mean young kids you know it's like we it's like our kids are supposed to be burying us we're not supposed to be burying our kids so this is what we can do so my suggestions have community meetings twice a month everyone come out everybody come out we talk about what can we do like different like community function like fundraisers like fun stuff that we can bring the community thing to community together and things that the, our kids can do because remember how growing up how they had like camps and after school programs and stuff like that so where's though you know it was like we didn't have the, the parents didn't have to pay anything and they had like councils and stuff and they had uh funding you know that would pay for that and the people that's um and, the, and for the representatives that's a part of these communities my thing to each one of you is what are i know it takes one it takes more than one person to do everything but what kind of things are y'all doing to push to to get these uh these funders and doing the right thing because sometimes the people that's in positions that have the power to to change things they take advantage too so just because a person is is in a position like a um like a um a group leader in the community doesn't mean that they're genuine so if we can find you know some good people that's genuine that's into bringing the community together want to get funding and get the money and do the right thing with it bring these kids out come on come to the uh, recreation center have basketball things even though i know that for those of you that has to make a difference that you don't hear about i want to say thank you for your help those of you that's trying to make a difference because i know that it is many of you in the community that is trying to make a difference and i want to say thank you and continue doing what you're doing god bless each one of you but my thing is this and we can have these these town hall, hall meetings. Let's start with that twice a month or at least once a month because I know everybody's schedule is crazy. And talk about different suggestions. And put, not even talking about the different suggestions of doing things, but stepping and doing it. You know, we can talk all day about what we can do and all this, but if we're not moving in action, nothing is going to happen. You know, I've always been a community active, always been about positivity, and always been about change. And I know that 
change start individually. And this is why, like, like on my, I have a YouTube page, I have an Instagram page, and I have a Twitter page, and I then I post like inter, inspirational stuff and you know other things that that's uplifting and positive. That's the kind of person I am. I love positivity. I like to give out positive energy. But to be honest with each one of you, I have my days where I be stuck in a zone. You know, like you know, I be. You know, I kind of, kind of say like, you know how everybody had a good and bad days. But besides all that, I still try to be a good person and try to treat people the way I want to be treated. So the second, so the first thing I was saying is how can we, what, we, what can we do next after process? And I, I mentioned about the town hall, uh, the town hall meetings. So we have, we live in a big, a big city. There's so many big states all around the world. You know, just complaining about it and not taking things in action. Because this is going to continue over and over and over and over again. So we just can't talk about what we're going to do. To listen to this full episode of Positive Thursday, The Funny Side of Life, episode 32, Mindset and What's Next After Protesting, go to Zoe Flower Anchor FM.